Hi guys, thanks for sticking with me. I am getting ready to make my good old Jamaican dumpling, fried dumpling or Johnny cakes. So I have prepared most of the ingredients in the interest of time. I'll just turn my slow cooker off because the oatmeal is done. And what I have here is half and half all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour. I have four cups and I have a teaspoon of baking powder to each cup of flour. A little salt. Now I have also prepared some liquid over here. And the liquid is, it's kind of warm to the touch, but you don't want it too hot. Because if it is too hot, then it's going to boil the, dump, the, the flour before you finish making your batter for, finish making your batter for frying your dumplings, right? So I have a cup and a half of water with some butter melted in the water. And that is what I'm going to use to mix my dumpling so i'll pour it in and i play it by air but yeah that's it so i have started to mix the flour and it's kind of coming together just like any pastry that's what you do okay so i'm gonna pour more in and just keep mixing until everything comes together. Now, unlike when I did that fritter, that banana fritter, you don't want your dough to be runny. You want your dough to be firm so you can actually pinch pieces to form your dumplings. It's coming together, but I can use a little more water so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more water to the dough don't want to add too much at one time just add a little at a time because you don't want your dough or your batter to get soggy And I usually use a spoon to mix until I get to a certain point. Then you got to get down with your fingers and knead and pinch and form and fry. So I think, check this out. This is what it looks like. I'm at that point now. So just going to grab a spoon here and clean off my wooden spoon and I'll take them both to the sink and wash my hands so I can start getting into the dough and I'm gonna get personal with my dough there we go the dough is ready to be formed into dumplings and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all my dumplings and put on this tray so that I can just take from here to fry so that's what I'm gonna do but I don't like to make my dumplings round and high like this I like to squish the middle to me, it fries quicker and easier and more even. <laughs> so that is how I do it. Another thing I should mention too, is that after you pinch a piece off, you could literally just kind of fold the dough in on itself before you start kneading it between both hands. There we go. That's your dumpling. There we go. We have a tray of unfried, uncooked dumplings.
that are ready for the oil. Now you could either deep fry these or you could fry them in shallow oil so you can just flip them. Generally, we fry them in shallow oil and then we flip them and that is exactly what I am going to do. Okay guys, so the frying pan is red hot and ready for the dumplings. So we're just going to start putting them in. There you go. And you got to watch them, okay? Turn your burner down. Don't make the heat too high after you started frying because you don't want to force fry them then they're gonna be burnt before they're really soaked on the inside so dumplings are frying away and uh, you will know that they are done when they are actually golden brown in both sides and i like to flip them more than once because i don't like when one side get too brown before the other yeah. side starts apart from the color you know it depends on the heat i i, I go with a, like a medium heat i don't mm -hmm. go to low to medium heat and honestly these so you're saying i need these to. type of dumpling mm -hmm. i give about three four minutes per side oh cool and i watch them and, cool. and that's kind of what cool. worked for me by the way guys my hobby is Jamaican, just myself, so we grew up frying dumplings and eating dumplings. So, yeah, he knows a thing or two about dumplings. I say a thing. I don't know if you know. Do you fry them? Well, yes, I know to eat them. Okay, guys, so I'm going to see you on the other side while I fry the dumplings. Or after I'm finished frying these dumplings. Okay, so my <laughs> hubby and son have decided to help with the scrambled eggs. Now, I think they do scrambled egg a little different from how I do it. So, who wants to tell me how they're doing the scrambled egg over there? Um, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not giving it any time to um, sit in the pan. I'm just going to keep uh, keep stirring it throughout the whole time it's in here. Okay, cool. And Daddy, what did you put in uh, those scrambled exactly. eggs? So, ground turmeric, uh, some pink salt, just to taste that much, uh, black pepper, okay. fine ground black pepper. So, you know, it, it's a kind of plain, it's not major. Sometimes we do it um, with, with different things in it, like uh, additional stuff. Like, But that's okay. Turmeric, black pepper, and salt, that's yeah. good enough. A lot of the time, even when Won't I'm muddle doing the this, taste. A lot of the time, even when I'm doing this, I, I press down with the fork or whatever I'm using to um, kind of break up the... Okay, egg. so it needs constant attention while it's been done until you get it all scrambled right yeah. okay now i have to attend to my dumplings over here they're getting brown and i think they're just about ready to come out of the pot Ooh. now another thing you can look for with your dumplings to know that they're done is when they start kind of cracking at the sides yeah, that's when the steam is kind of building up on the inside and it's releasing the steam. See that crap? So it's about ready to come out of the frying pan. So for brunch, we have fried dumplings, scrambled eggs, um, some oatmeal, and what are we gonna have tea or chocolate um we can just do both okay, yeah we'll do both okay and 
Daddy and Jaden are doing scrambled eggs and Daddy's doing some over very ripe plantains over there. I guess we forgot that he was here. <laughs> okay, so I'll stick some more dumplings in the pot. Oh, the eggs coming on over there. It looks nice and creamy. Jaden is owning his scrambled eggs over there. I am liking how that looks. Let's get a little closer. Mmm, that's some creamy scrambled eggs. And I think we all like, oh, well, except for Daddy, we like our eggs well done. So Jaden's making sure it's well done. Yeah, for me, right that that stays right now, it's done. That's okay. You could actually get um, a cover and just, let it and it, yeah. just cover it, and uh, you just finish cooking there. Yeah. Okay, boss man. And of course, it's not complete unless he does a taste test. <laughs> okay, guys, we're sitting at the table. The dumplings are done. Yeah, they are almost done. As you can see, they're all over in plates here. And there is not much left in that dish over there and i am just assembling my dumpling sandwich now i just put a little fried plantain then i put a little scrambled eggs and i'm gonna cover my dumpling with the other part there we go and i have a little dumpling sandwich golden brown and delicious as we say back home in jamaica johnny cakes i'm gonna enjoy my johnny cakes so i'll see you in the next video but before i go if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos with tips and tricks for your home and garden lessons from my design and sewing studio and recipes from my jamaican canadian kitchen and for all of my subscribers thank you so much for your support thank you for liking my videos and for sharing because sharing does help my channel to grow so you take care now and i'll see you in the next video I'm going to go enjoy my Johnny cake.